I would argue that sometimes game developers are lazy and they just do, let's do a gun, let's shoot people and make them die. And that's their game, right? And that's fine, whatever, if that's your thing, I guess so. But I think we can be more creative than that. Next. So if you are not sure what you what in the world you might do for your game, don't worry. I have some ideas for you. Okay, this first generator, I think I have my sound muted, but beware, it has very annoying loud sound effects that go along with it. Um, hopefully it's muted. Here we go. So this first game generator, game idea generator, you just say start, and then give me a game and it'll do some random ideas for you're in a supermarket. Your goal is to find all the items in the supermarket. It's a role playing game somehow. You can only move forward. You can't move backwards in the aisles, um, whatever. Or You're in the ocean, you're trying to escape um, and avoid the sharks. Ooh, no, underwater robots. You're trying to avoid the underwater robots, whatever. So it just gives you lots of ideas. You can mix and match, right? You don't have to take their idea just as it is. Maybe you're in the supermarket trying to avoid robots. Maybe you're under the ocean trying to eat all the fruit. I don't know. Okay, not all the ideas are going to be appropriate. Um, that's not the right tab. Where did my tab go? Oh, that is the right tab. Okay, so number two, similar. There we go. Come on, scroll, scroll. It's processing. Thank you. No, oh, I'm still thinking. There we go. Okay, so I'm not actually sure what user feedback does. Maybe it's like you literally give user feedback. I always click local and then it'll give you an idea. An idle game where you must find the key in a simulation, but you can't tell anyone. Not all of these make sense because it's like literally random stuff. Action, you must become famous in a post-apocalyptic earth with 24 hours to save the world, right? So you can kind of mix and match Plague breaks out on a bridge when there's deadly traps. Okay, and then number three. Oh no, that was my fault. Accidentally exited out. Okay, anyway. And then there's another generator we don't have to sit through that. It's so similar to the second one. Um, so if you don't have any ideas, try those generators. And then Let's talk about each kind of element that you're gonna to need to think about. So number one, what's the genre? You, the, I'm gonna tell you the easiest ones that are that, um, to code will be the platformer, which it could be like a side scroller potentially, um, and or a map, top down kind of map game, map or adventure game, but Feel free to branch out into other genres if you would like, okay? Maybe you do a puzzle game where like Candy Crush type thing, or maybe you do some kind of Beat Saber-ish something. Okay, um, the setting is going to be kind of like the background sort of. So where are you? In a jungle, in outer space, on a planet. And then are you doing the top down or the platformer side view or something completely different? These are gonna be the two most common ones, top down or platformer. Okay. And then what characters are you gonna have? Who's your main player? Are they humanoid? Are they a pencil? Are they a dog? Are they an alien? What are they? And then you might have objects like pickups, like you collect coins or, you know, oh, the game is about a teacher that collects pencils and pieces of paper. I don't know. Let 
maybe it's a student that collects those things and then turns them into a teacher. I don't know. Okay. And then what kind of, what does the play look like? What can the player do? Can he or she or it walk around? Does it jump? Does it fly? Does it pick up things? Does it bump into things and lose health? Um, can it shoot projectiles? Can it rotate? That kind of stuff. So, and then also what happens when the character does stuff? So this is again like, are there pickups? Does the player pick stuff up? And does it walk around and um, have to do certain checkpoints to unlock a door? Like what's happening in the game? And then how does the player um, kind of reach, what's the objective? If the player's trying to reach a location, maybe, you know, is there, are there enemies attacking while they're trying to get to the location? Or are there traps in there that they're trying to avoid? Are they trying to collect stuff? Um, is there a timer? Um, okay, so. How do they advance? Are there levels or are you like opening rooms or are you um, gaining different powers as you do stuff? Okay, so part of your assignment is to describe your game in one sentence. So similar to these examples, my game is a top-down puzzle game set on Mars where lollipops collect alien artifacts and avoid Martians to build a spaceship so they can go home to their lollipop planet. Or my game's a rhythm game set in an animal shelter where animals play notes to complete a song. Or um, maybe your game is an educational game set in a park where the playground equipment asks multiplication problems and rewards the player with an animation. So be creative. Okay, so you're gonna fill out basically that sentence when you figure out what your game is. And then tell me a little bit more about the details because that sentence is pretty, um, kind of like a summary, it's pretty vague. Tell me more about the characters and objects you're gonna need and more about your ideas for how the game will work. Okay, so you have a slide to tell me about your characters and objects. Do you have enemies or objects what are they um like one year i had a student have an enemy transform like and then that when something happened the enemy would become like the super enemy or whatever and then what does the game look like tell me more about like are you going to have levels or is it going to be like things unlocking a door or whatever are you shooting are you picking up objects blah 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 Tell me all about that, whatever your ideas are. So this is kind of like notes for you and kind of for me to see where you're headed so that we can have a conversation.